guy, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. A common question that I'll get for sure is, Jeff, if you could only pick one piece of equipment to train with, what would it be? Would it be barbells, dumbbells, or cables? My answer is, that's an impossible question, guys, because if you want to train and train completely, at some point, you're likely going to want to train with all three. And there's one very specific reason why that is, and that's because each one of these has its advantages and disadvantages, and each one is going to stress your body in a completely different way. So I thought, to underscore that point, I would take one single exercise and demonstrate how using those three different pieces of equipment can drastically change the impact that exercise has on your body. So we'll do a kneeling overhead press, okay? Again, let's get a bit of stability going on through our core. It's a good athletic movement. We're going to get our shoulders working for sure, but we're going to do it with three different uh, pieces of equipment. We'll start with the barbell. So i got to clean this thing up, okay? I'll talk about the advantages as soon as I put it down. So barbell here, clean it up, get down to our lunge, stabilize, and press. And down. Now you can see that I'm able to use you know, a pretty decent amount of weight with a barbell. That's one of the big advantages of it. The reason why we're able to push more weight with a barbell is because we don't have to worry about the stabilizer muscles working as hard as they do when we use an individual three-dimensional dumbbell. Okay, there's more movement ability with individual dumbbells than there is with a fixed bar. So that might explain why you might be able to be a 300-pound bench presser but you can't press 150 pound dumbbells, right? So that's advantage number one. A little bit heavier weight, build a little bit more muscle. Next, we could go into our dumbbell press. Again, come down and press up. Now again, one of the nice things here is if there is an asymmetry in muscle strength from right to left, it's gonna be exposed here because one arm, the one that's weaker, that was getting helped by the fact that the bar was fixed together is not going to be so lucky when you're using dumbbells. Okay, but one of the nice things here is you're shortening your lever arm. You're able to keep your dumbbells in a little bit more. So for this exercise, you can press it without maybe that frontal plane challenge that you had from the bar this way because the weights were distributed a little bit further away from you. So I had to work my core a little bit more with the barbell there as well. Again, it's an advantage or a disadvantage. It depends on what you're trying to work. If you're working for pure strength, you want to consider that. Thirdly, when we use cables, you got to follow the line of resistance. you got to follow the line of the cables. So here, I can get down and press. And yeah, this is great. I'm still doing an overhead press. But guess what's really working? You can probably see it my core because here I'm not just pressing up but the cables want to pull me back here so I really have to work my core so yeah it's a cable press but we have a whole other element in play because of the direction of the force of the cables is altering definitely the direction of force of gravity against dumbbells or a barbell so you'll see you got to train everything, guys. There's really no one way to train if you want a complete body. And there's no one exercise to train if you want a complete body. You have to put it all together, and you have to put it together in a way that makes sense. I try to do that for you guys already, step-by-step step with the Athletics Training Program. If you haven't already, and you want a step-by-step -step program that will layer these things in exactly when I feel you need to start using them, and also give you guys ways around some lack of equipment, because I realize that not everybody has access to all of this. I show you ways you can do it very inexpensively with bands that cost like 10 bucks that can replace these cables. We do that in AthleteX.com and our AthleteX program. In the meantime, if you found this helpful, make sure you leave a thumbs up and a comment below. Whatever else it is that you'd like to see, leave that in the comments and I'll make a video on it. Alright guys, I'll see you back here again soon. <laughs>